In the stark reality of what we live in nowadays, and the events that have unfolded over the past few days in Maine, a video I really had to ponder doing until I heard from the local residents and businesses what had taken place. We all know that 18 innocent people were brutally killed and the gunman took his own life. And my thoughts and prayers go out to every single family, friends, whoever that was affected by this tragic situation that has taken place in Maine. Maine was known as one of the safest states in the Union, has been for years. And this goes to show times are changing. And I'm not here to talk about what took place, what happened, or anything else. I'm here to talk about what happened after the fact, the lockdowns. And the reason I want to talk about that, because I think it is very important to learn something from this tragedy. Not only was the 18 people's lives taken suddenly, but thousands of residents in the surrounding towns were affected. The lockdowns they put in place, people were told to stay home, businesses closed, grocery stores were closed, pharmacies were closed, gas stations were closed. There was nowhere to go to get any supplies whatsoever. After the first 12 hours, there was probably a lot of people that started to panic. After 24 hours, there was definitely people starting to get really concerned. One, they still didn't know where the shooter was, and two, they needed supplies. After 48 hours, they finally lifted the lockdown and would allow people and businesses to reopen. A lot of people were um, contacting their local departments and things and telling them that they needed to get out to get supplies. They needed to get food. They needed gas. They needed medical. All these different things. And this is what I want people to take from this. The safest state in the union. And they had lockdowns because of an active shooter that took tragically 18 lives. But if we can learn one thing from this, it doesn't hurt to be prepared with a basic two week supply of food because they were put in these lockdowns and they could not go anywhere. The roads were all closed, blocked off and everything else. It was even hard for a lot of the media and everything else. And I watched a lot of different media stations and they all were saying the same thing. There's nowhere around here you can get food, water. You can't get gas for the vehicles because everything's closed. So the moral of the story here is in this tragic event, if you are on the fence on prepping or if you are a prepper, it pays to be prepped and ready because you never know when that situation might hit. And having that basic two-week supply of food, water, medicine, any type of medical, gas, extra gas, could be crucial. And we, as a civilization, need to realize that times are changing. And this was a perfect example of how a two-week supply of your basic necessities would have come in real handy for a lot of people in a time of need. For we know not when things may happen. And this shows that when the government comes in and these catastrophic events that happen, they have the power to shut everything down. 
and you have to be prepared. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video. And keep all those people in Maine in your thoughts and prayers.